Yo, this your boy Double Up and I'm back with another uh, uh, banger in the day. I came to tap in about that boy Adam22. He alongside with Brick Baby and that boy Lush One, man. They talking about DW Flame. He don't like that he got canceled. Get what I'm saying? But before we get into this video, I need you to like, comment, subscribe. But we ain't gonna waste no time. Let's get into it. DW seemed to uh, take more offense to... Uh recent changes with no jumper than essentially anybody else he, he blamed it on the fact that he said he didn't get a phone call i told him i did call him and I, sh I, I i have it in my call log still that i tried to call him but he definitely took it more personal the recent changes in terms of no jumper than other people and he went on instagram live and he made a couple of different statements and i realized that some of these statements have uh, you know caused quite a bit of commotion within our uh, our fan universe. base and our culture our universe out here and so the two main you first no statements that he made is number one he said some stuff about adam you you, you don't want to pay a black man his money because he got shot at no jumper yada yada which that to me was very concerning because i know what dw knows and i know that dw just like Every single other person in this office knows that nobody got shot in no jumper. So that right there made me think maybe I kind of misjudged you because it. Hold on, I got to pause it right here. He's saying ain't nobody got shot in the office, but we seen the text message, man. If you haven't seen the text message with Dijon, man, he texted and he said it himself. Adam22 did, but he's just deflecting. But let's get back into it. How you guys feel? Do you feel like Deshaun got shot? I kind of feel like he got grades or something. Something happened. But let's get back into it. It really didn't take a lot for you to come on here and start lying. Yeah. And you guys know. And I would not sit here and point at you and say, you guys know, no, yeah. but you know that what I'm saying is true and that nobody got shot at no jumper. So to see somebody like very quickly decide that they want to start pushing the narrative that somebody did get shot at no jumper, I'm like, that's weird. That's, that's yeah. very surprising to me. I didn't think that you would do that. And I don't think that many people are really going for it. But yeah. th there was another statement he made, yeah, right. which we can get into in the future. Yeah, but we, there was another we, statement he made basically bragging about how he was accepting money from people to appear on No Jumper. And he seems very proud of this. <laughs> And he deleted it soon <laughs> after, possibly because he might have uh, kind of realized that this was essentially like him admitting to stealing, bragging about stealing. I thought it was like a weird thing for him to be so triumphant about, but I understand that this kind of... Shouts to that embezzlement flex. Let's get it. I mean, Yo. I, I was impressed. I was like, wow, I didn't see either of these statements coming. Yo, wait. That was a little surprising. So, how how is... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, this is, that's what I'm saying. When you leave and you get to speak and go stuff that you, you that you think is just a side play is no, you don't know how that's your life in the long run. You get what I'm trying mm. to tell you? Like mm. like 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 trying to just, get them clips off. Just, Brick Baby loves Adam 22. I thought that was your homeboy. Even if he was doing this and all that, you're not supposed to speak on it, dog. He loved Adam 22. And Adam 22 don't care nothing about that man. How you guys feel? Drop it in the comments. Let's get back into it. Just getting viral, the clips yeah. off, yeah. and it's like, damn, if Adam really wanted to do some bullshit. Like that, like like you really can, like well, you get what I'm saying. Do we Even think a, he was like serious? Like, is there a, is it possible that? I mean, do you believe like, that anyone would spend five grand to go on his podcast? I don't know. It's kind of like it depends on how much money that person had. You know what? If they're like, so I I, I could see for show sure people being down for that. Just no, like if this five thousand. Like, I don't, I can't say it for a specific number, but I know that people are like they want that no jumper cloud so bad. They're and if all it took was an investment, like hell yeah, five seems a little bit high you know mm -hmm. what i mean like if like if you spend a five g's i would me personally if i'm like a company i'd want to get a couple million impressions off that but you, know you already I mean? know like, that he's not going to say the actual amount that he got yeah he's going to take the actual amount that he got from somebody yeah, to appear on the podcast and he's going to multiply it by four or five or two realistically maybe ten we don't know <laughs> because look it's, it, it is an easy setup and like this reminds me of a conversation I had with my uh, poker coach recently, bbzpoker.com. He, he, he mentioned to me how 
he runs like staking business, right? So if like you're good at playing poker, but you don't got enough money, he'll give you ten grand, he'll give you twenty grand, whatever. Yeah, you yeah, you yeah. play yeah. poker using his money, and if you make money, then he gets a split of it. If you lose yeah. money, then you're in debt. Whatever. So he's a, he's a yeah. futuristic bookie accommodating the right. needs of the time. Exactly. But yeah. then he also coaches these people, helps make them better, whatever. They have a cool relationship, and he he's been doing this for a long time. And in the early Is days, his name of his, Adam. <laughs> no, no, his name's uh, Jordan. Okay. And, and in the early days of his business. He told me that a lot of people would run off on him. Like yeah. they would just run up a bill, not pay him, sorry. And and he said that they would like that he can't in retrospect blame them for doing that because he created an environment in which there was so little bookkeeping going on with these people that is basically like if you create an environment in which it's too easy for somebody to steal, you kind of can't blame them for stealing. Well, fools run off on a Visa tab all the time. That's a daily occurrence. What's a Visa mean? tab? Like I'm they saying, credit like, card bill. Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. like okay. like, like, like 15 bands or 20 bands of Visa skirt. You right. feel me? Like yeah. seven years that shit finna get cleared. <laughs> like whatever. Like fuck it. Like just like you like. I'm sure we all know multiple people. But the thing is, I mean, is, is that if you, like the environment that we created with the fucking weekly pods there is like, it was such a free for all. It was, a, it was such a bring whoever the fuck you want on that it's like, there's no accountability. Like none of us are like chiming in and saying like, hey, that guy that you brought on the podcast sucked. It seemed like he might've been paying you to appear on the podcast, whatever. Like we weren't doing any of that. And as a result, like I kind of almost can't blame him Man, it sounds like Adam 22 is salty. You get what I'm saying? Like, he's salty if that man was charging. I don't know what his pocket's looking like and how much he was charging, but if he was charging, <laughs> congratulations to him. He was thinking outside the box because that's the same thing I would have did. Let's get back into it. If he was doing that, because it's genius. There's just so <laughs> little accountability <laughs> that I was a little shocked. But you seemed like you were potentially saying that you felt like what he was doing by bringing those issues to the table was kind of federally ish what i was saying <laughs> uh, clarify yeah clarify. what i was saying because police wise i wasn't saying nothing about court right of course yeah the conversation was on fake telling yeah Sharp was like, uh, right. well, Compo passed me the phone and like, is this telling? Is this telling? Yeah. Uh, right. So like questionable telling type shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like me. So, so, so for example, if someone else hypothetically was running a similar jug over yeah, here, yeah, 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 now yeah, the yeah, attention yeah. has been brought to yeah, so, the powers that be. That so, could, yeah. so, yeah. And I'm like, I'm like, I'm like. When you leave somewhere and you just get to doing shit like that, you get what I'm saying? And you talk, but you let your, because at the end I said, you my brother, don't let your emotions get you to talk about shit that ain't it. Because it's not true, but then like that could possibly get to some other shit. It's some type of truth in the details. Man, that boy, Brick Baby, is a mark. That's what they say in Cali. He a mark, a buster, bro. Like, <laughs> This is supposed to be a man's, bro. You shouldn't even be speaking on that. How you guys feel? Drop in the comments. Let's get back into it. Shit, you hear what I'm saying? But in a manner of me not saying like, hey, you a police snitching ass nigga, like nigga, nigga put him off. He's a snitch. Da, 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 da. The conversation was on fake time. Yeah, but of course people so are going to like, take like, that and They like, going to take yeah, that yeah, in. So it was like, I'm like, I'm like, can you talk about it? DW's not stupid, bro. Like he's yeah, smart yeah, enough yeah, to be able to read yeah, between yeah, the lines. Yeah. He's been in like the media no, no, space. No, long no. Like he responds to everything public record, but it's not because none of us from the office, we never talked about the situation period whatever the fuck type right. of situation that happened whoever did know something and nobody got shot but whatever the fuck that was going yeah, right. on and then for somebody to confirm like all right the security guard up here or something or say because he was throwing the uh, he was throwing somebody else under the bus right there which is like that person was always solid with me, so I never wanted to like put their business out there or talk about anything that was going on with this person. So like, the idea of like exposing the circumstances, it's like that's not cool because then that it, person's gonna have a harder time in life, and he didn't do nothing to involve himself. In, well, besides the obvious, he didn't he didn't do anything to involve himself in this fucking situation. He doesn't deserve to be called out like that. I thought that was kind of lame to like throw his business out there. Well, obviously he like has a certain level of disdain for him because just the way he talked about him in that clip. You know what I mean? Like mm. so, like. But it, this is something not to I would have brought up in a jokingly manner it, if he would have been right here, like damn, cuz. You think right. that you said that was cool? Like, nigga, da 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 Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, not 
saying that you was so when I said snitch, it just automatically clipped. Oh, Brick Baby's calling him a snitch. Like nigga, you didn't go to the police and do no weird shit. Like because in the gang world, that that word is so sensitive. You get what I'm saying? I, I feel like that boy Brick Baby scared of DW Flame. You get what I'm saying? How you guys feel? You feel like Brick Baby scared? I think he's scared. Let me know. Drop it in the comments. Let's get back into this content. I didn't mean to call him a snitch, but I was like, basically, like, that ain't straight. Bro, like, okay. You get what I'm I, saying? Like, yeah, you know I, what I mean? I totally At understand. the end of the day. I heard a couple different versions of it, though. I heard Brick Baby is mad that DW exposed the way that people got paid or, like, saying that people ain't really getting paid in no jumper. I heard people saying Brick Baby is mad because DW exposed the shit about uh, Mustard Man and security or whatever. And I heard people saying Brick Baby is mad because he – Snitched on the jug of taking money for interviews because Brick Baby well, is doing that as well. <laughs> listen, <laughs> well, number one, that, that's just a theory that people have. Number one and three are just... essentially the same thing Look. with a little extra on Look. it. Mm. That, that's so, the Parmesan no. on the no, fucking no, no, no. coffee, you know. Brick Baby is mad because you are leaving. I'm not even mad, first and foremost. I'm not mad. Mm -hmm. man. I'm just going back because you said niggas ain't getting no chili up there. Like you don't right. know what niggas doing up here. And yeah, it ain't you know, that. and Brick specifically said, and that's to reference the second point. At the end of the day, if y'all homeboys call that man, that's how I'm feeling. How you guys feeling? Drop it in the comments. Let's go. Like Brick specifically said on the Sharp uh, on Sharp's pod the other day, yeah. Brick said like everybody has their own arrangement. Really, like I don't know what Brick makes over here. I don't know. It's yeah. not my business. Like what did what did Hope say? Well, you we don't make me shit. And, you and what you're getting at right now is you're saying. That you have a contract and that yeah. he was getting paid per individual piece yeah. of content, which to be totally fair, like that is kind of like how it goes is that people come around and we pay him for individual pieces of content. And then at some point, if it becomes obvious, like, oh, we want to have this person on a consistent schedule, I want to be able to rely on them X amount of times per month, et cetera, then we're going to put them on contract. The thing with DW is he didn't really like stick around long enough or like, or really like, create that value where I was dying to give him a contract because I'm going to be real with you like his podcast like I got to give him credit he showed up he did it P. Nice has a lot of potential as a P. podcaster nice and shit I think everybody agrees that P. Nice got a future as a podcaster nice and everything like that but also DW was incapable of putting a stop to the swearing in the beginning part of the podcast. I think that he might have been the most consistently demonetized podcaster in the history of No Jumper. Like literally every single episode, he has some was dope yellow. guests though. He, he did. did. He got some good guests. Nick Cannon, Justina Valentine, the ones like, who didn't pay exactly. But uh, and then, <laughs> that's Justina that's Valentine that's from that's Ten Rice. Yeah, 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 that's from yeah, the promo yeah, yeah. budget. Nah, but you know what I'm saying? Like he he. Like, there was just kind of a lack of professional... I, like, I can't blame him 100% for getting every single episode de demonetized, aside from the fact that, like, he, he always was a person who had a very hard time not swearing. But then on top of that, it's like, the views weren't really, like, looking too astounding. It kept going down every single month. Like, if he wanted to make a push to, like, get a contract and be, like, consistently on the podcast and everything... For sure, we could have got to that point, but it would have had to be something that, like, you have to be, like, kind of bringing an audience yeah, but, 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 to a certain regardless, point. Have developed a fan base that's going to watch on the channel, right? Like, the, regardless yeah. of that, like, he's been in the industry long enough to know that ultimately you have to have those conversations with upper management and whoever the financial team, which there is. And Lush back with all that stuff he was talking about, Adam Twenty Two. This is just crazy to me, man. I would never went. I would never let him back if I was Adam. You know, but Adam Lame, he he in it for the views. How you guys feel? Drop in the comments. Let's get back into it. Yeah. In place at No Jumper. You yeah. know who to talk to about that. Mm. So if you want to get that situation cracking for yourself or you want to change whatever financial arrangement you have in place, holler at the man. You feel me? You know who to talk to. And I was just a little you know pays you. I was a little insulted because he's talking about motherfuckers ain't getting no chili, rah rah rah. And it's like, bro, I'm out. Like on that podcast, I don't know how many episodes it was, it was probably ten episodes. Whatever I paid you is what I'm out because every single one lost money, like big, every single one. Like, you know, it's just, it wasn't getting any views and it was getting. He said the same thing every time. He did the same thing to T Rail and them. And T Rail didn't even, he didn't even get fired. He left because AD did. You get what I'm saying? So he be just. Let's get back into demonetized it. on every single one. So what the fuck are we talking about? Like, you know, this has to make sense for the, the business as well. Even like breaking even is like a, a decent outcome. But we weren't doing that. We were like just paying you on the premise that this might start getting more views as time goes by. 
And, you know, I mean, if he was really that confident, it's like, why don't you just go do it on your own or do it for, like, another platform or something? Because, like, if if you were really bringing that much value to the platform, then you should probably have all kinds of other options as well, right? I mean, he, he low-key, in that same live he did, he did allude to the fact that, like, yo, I'm really, like, podcasting. Like, it was cool. Like, I enjoyed it. Like, it ain't really my thing. I got to get back to this rapping. I'm glad that I was able to shed some light on my boy P-Nice. You mm, feel me? Yeah. He can, and I honestly, like, I, I thought that was dope, ultimately. Yeah. Like, like, yeah, I do think that DW has potential as a podcaster, absolutely. Mm. But, like, I feel like P-Nice seems way more passionate about it. Mm. And, like, he could actually go very yeah it, it, you see I what I'm mean, saying they say that he had a passion for it before yeah so it needed be nice art either it. yeah oh that's interesting so I, I mean he didn't have a podcast but I guess him and his brother you saw well and DW him. did want to like I know he had an interest in it because I had had DW on my pod last like summer you mm, know yeah. me because that's the homie is like so I had him on the pod and he was all uh like he had hit me up like what's up let's let's do another show let's do shows and I was like damn the way my pod at like is low-key equipped isn't ba based as, at that time on continual guests so I didn't really know how to like yeah. you know to make it make know. sense because it, it was more just an interview based podcast mm -hmm. at the time yeah. but but him so it's like he had that interest in it so like when I saw him land in no jumper at first I was juiced so I was like hell yeah DW like that's exactly what you should do and like what a better platform for you to be on but when I saw like the whole, I don't know if crash out's the word, but he, the perturbance he was ex exhibiting on the microphone afterwards and just like the animosity he had towards the situation. Are you talking about Bad Bitch Gate? Way after <laughs> Bad Bitch Gate. Way uh, after Bad Bitch uh, Gate. When I think about that now, I am like, Sad how, how did I think that that was going to go? Yeah. <laughs> did, it wasn't like you was talking to me. You felt like you were talking to me. No, but that's like, the thing. Like, I guess I didn't know crazy. him as well yeah, at that yeah, time, yeah, so yeah, I didn't yeah, really yeah, like yeah. think of it as going the way that it went. Like, I didn't yeah. know it was going to go like that, but when I think about it now, I'm like, why did I? Why did I try that one? Like, yeah, that, 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 that does seem, yeah, yeah, right. right. seem kind of ambitious. You, you clearly, but you, did, I really don't think I, I didn't take it as. I just thought saw that as Adam being Adam. Like I don't think there's anyone right. that's ever been a cast member of the No Jumper Show that you wouldn't feel because I would have said that joking. to somebody like you, and you would have fucking laughed, and you yeah. would have taken that joke. Yeah. Yeah. Even AD, AD, yeah. AD would get kind of oh. sensitive about certain things, but even AD. Here we go, bringing up AD and the AD and them, man. They ain't got nothing to do with this, man. He, got, he he infatuated with them guys. Let's get back to it. Would have, like, worst case scenario, would have been like, bitch, what you say? No, you those me? fools, you would, know? Call, those yeah. fools yeah. would call each other bitch more than people That's from, a good point, yeah. More than yeah. people from Dallas. They were like, very like, into roasting like, in general, yeah. Like, yeah. you know the way Dallas fools, That's and then they'd be like, like, the, anyway, so. like the, you know how fools out there literally talk like, yo, hey, bitch, uh, yeah, as, like, yeah, slang, and it's yeah, not meant in a disrespectful way. That's how often those fools on at at the end of the week that they, they would at the end of the week <laughs> constantly you feel me at the end of the day you know what I'm talking about at like the, the, the <laughs> hey it was a weekly show Yo, but like probably would have been better yeah, yeah at the end of the week wait yeah. that's not even that funny never mind uh, <laughs> but that would have been like yeah. <laughs> All right, man, that's pretty much it, man. You get what I'm saying? They just keep going on about DW Flame. I feel like Adam-22 scared of that man. If he didn't have no security, he wouldn't be talking about that to the man's face. He shouldn't have called that man a, uh had bad beat energy and all that type stuff. I want to know how you guys feel. I want you to drop it in the comments. If you got any content you want me to react to, man, drop it in the comments, man. Just let me know what's going on. And, uh, hey, man, until next time, I'm out.